Hello friends and welcome back to Car Talk. Now the Suzuki Jimny or the Maruti Jimny as it will be called in the Indian car market is one of the most highly anticipated small SUVs of recent times. This iconic SUV went on sale in Japan a few days back in its all new avatar and going by a craze for the Gypsy and a need for a more comfortable replacement for the Gypsy, it won't be long before Maruti gets the Jimny to Indian shows as well. Here's a deeper look into what the Jimny is all about. Do note that there are two versions available in Japan, the regular Jimny and its rugged and feature-loaded cousin, the Ciara. As of now, we don't know which one will eventually make it to India. In terms of dimensions, you will be shocked to know that it is smaller and narrower than even the Alto 800, though of course, sits much higher. Currently, only a two-door version is made in Japan, just like our very own Gypsy. The Jimny looks radical and different than your regular SUVs. The straight lines and the boxy theme does remind us of the Mercedes G-Wagon. There are minimal design angles with the highlight being the matte black cladding around the grille. Being a two-door, the rear side glass windows are also fixed and this one flaunts the spare wheel at the back in all its glory. Now thanks to the raised height, the Jimny gets 205mm of ground clearance along with impressive approach, breakover and departure angles. Now this is something every adventure seeker wants in his SUV. On the inside, the Jimny is surprisingly loaded and looks very nice. A lot of part sharing with other models is visible here. For example, the steering and the climate control knobs are similar to that of the Swift. Highlights include the big touchscreen that should support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And we like the sporty red backlight for the cluster and buttons. The instrumentation console itself has a proper driver info display. You also notice the horizontal design theme here that runs across the width of the fascia and we love these aircraft style toggle switches. The Jimny has practical touches like a dedicated space for your mobile, Robust grab rail for the co-driver up front and on the door. Well contoured seats with proper side bolstering. And as you can see, the Jimny is a proper 4-seater only and with the second row down, there is oodles of space for most needs. In Japan, the Jimny is powered by a 660cc petrol engine while the Ciara gets a larger 1.5 litre motor. This is also the engine we expect for the Indian market, no matter which model comes here first. It should be good for approximately 100 bhp of power and might be the same unit that will power the new, yet to be launched Ciaz and Ateega. The Jimny will come with 4x4 as standard with both a 5-speed manual and an optional 4-speed automatic. And yes, the 4-wheel drive unit will offer 3 choices of 2-wheel drive high, 4-wheel drive high and 4-wheel drive low. Along with this, it also gets LSD or limited slip differential to get out of tricky situations as seen in the video here. We also love these clever blind spot mirrors, very handy when you're off the road alone. The Indian version should get driver aids like hill hold assist and descent control as standard. And although in Japan, this gets semi-autonomous driving tech like auto emergency braking, lane assist and adaptive cruise control among others, it's safe to assume these will not come to India yet. Ditto for the number of airbags. Dual airbags will be standard in India, if not 4 or 6. If all goes well, the Jimny should make it to India by next year and will replace the aging Maruti Gypsy. The challenge here for Maruti will be to meet the huge demand. For example, we have confirmed news that this year's production stock at the Japanese plant is already booked 